I think probably the worst feeling you can have in life is unrequited love. Loving someone who doesn't quite love you the way you love them. It's like an emotional cancer that eats away at you. Uh, but that aside, I'd say the other thing is extending that to a broader structure is being misunderstood. You know, the problem with being very creative in society is that you don't conform to the norms. And nonconformity basically means that you're forced to uh, live as in some way a pariah. You know, I have a friend who's a professor down the South, and he asks his students, he teaches history, how many of you would have been an abolitionist in 1850? Yeah, there's uh, pictures that always float around the internet you know, during a Nazi rally where you'd have all these Nazis giving the salute and this one guy standing with crossed arms. And there's always that circle that says, be that guy, be the nonconformist. And everybody likes to believe they're that guy. They'll be the abolitionist. The reality is the vast majority of people listening are the people with the Nazi salute and the non-abolitionist. Not because you're evil, but because conformity is the standard, and it's how you usually get along in life. It's how you keep your job. It's how you keep your social networks. It's how you keep your relationships. It's how you feed your family. It's dangerous to be a nonconformist. It's dangerous to be unorthodox. You can be deplatformed, terminated, in some cases imprisoned. Very dangerous. And this is why we have so much admiration and respect for the people who pull it off. But here's the thing you don't hear. You are no different than those people. Every single person who's a nonconformist, they're not genetically magical. They're not saints descending from the heavens with special programming. They just made a conscious choice to do things a different way. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't work out, but they decided to set the fear of it not working out aside.